welcome one and all to the KOE Nation for a very special matchup in the 32 Ride Tournament. It is truly one hell of a matchup. Rittenhouse and Bullet, folks. I am your King of Extreme, Phil KOE, the man of the hour, the man of the power, the man that makes the other podcast cower. You can find me at KOE Nation on YouTube, Twitch, and TikTok. And I am joined by my indomitable broadcast partner, the one, the only. Tony, fucking G, like, share, subscribe. Find me all over Big Buck and Empire, the dog and chicken show, revolutionary wrestling podcast at Tony the Rod 2.0 on TikTok. Yes, all great places to check out, but tonight is the 32 Ride Tournaments night. This is to decide who moves on mm. to the Sweet 16, folks. And we've got quite a pairing here, Bullet and Rittenhouse, okay? Yeah. This is a couple of staples of rye whiskey. We've got Heaven Hills, basically brand making release in terms of their rye whiskey like yeah. this is what puts them on the market in terms of rye yeah and a lot of um, people fawn over this bottle yeah yeah and also personal favorite amongst the koe nation yes this is currently the rye of extreme or at least the winner of the last uh blind rye flight that we did of yep. 10 different rye whiskeys now we've had a couple of pretty good ones since yeah but the competition wasn't exactly stacked that night but we're still putting this and this is the same bottle even so i preserved it ah. so whoa written house and bullet bullet written house all right okay now folks this is going to be an interesting one. I'm curious if Bullet's going to be able to do what it did last time. All right. Yes, Tony has turned around. Now, these are both screw caps, which, um, I don't know. I don't so, want to drink them now. Ah, ruined. Like, no. Goodness gracious. But, you know, Rittenhouse is one of the few Heaven Hill releases that me and Tony have actually kind of enjoyed. Yeah, that is... Uh unfortunate yeah because uh heaven hill has not really been our particular forte um it's now tony you can rejoice that there's only one more sample tube left from that sampler pack but and we'll get into that another night but tony you can now turn around all right all right all right now here we go we've got two whiskeys to consider this is in the budget bracket folks these are two whiskeys that you can pretty much find almost anywhere and you're not going to break the bank like but i think like, this is like 28 bucks to say 20 to 30 bucks and you can get a this, 750 this little 350 cost me less or 375 cost me less than 15 dollars there you go so very very much budget-minded so let's take up the copita nosing glass first mm. Uh, very floral. Yeah, light pine. Like, not mints, but pine. Yeah, this one reminds me of very earthy, outdoors. Fresh, fresh tree. Lemongrass. Yeah, there you go. It, it smells nice. like it should taste really, really, like, pine solid. Hmm. Well, we shall see. And now, we take up. Much more subtle nose. Much more muted. Yeah, muted, but you know it's rye. Like, there's no mistaking this one for really anything else. Rye and wood. It's kind of what I'm Yeah, thinking. that's really all that's there. So, all right. See? Like, this is what I expect rye to smell like. Ooh, interesting. Well, let's take up. All right. Cheers, folks. Some pine. Yeah, there is. It's not nearly as in intrusive as the nose. There's a lingering pine there too. Um, but other than that, the palate's very soft. Hmm. Like very, very soft palate. Not offensive, but yeah, definitely like if you were gonna do rye cocktails, you would definitely still be able to pick up the rye. I, I'm tasting lemon on this. I do get that now. Yeah. Now that you say that, hmm. yeah, interesting. Yeah, there's a definite like a 
like a, like a lemon lime, like a bit like a flat Sprite would have like that lemony lime because it's it, this isn't you know carbonated. So hmm, interesting. And it oh my god, the lemon really comes through on the nose now. It's not bad at all. Uh, this now is, that you mention it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, wow. Um. All right, T. Whew. Well, bring up your We're very Glenn soft. Karen. wood oh yeah very oaky mm. and not much else no it's very straightforward um mm. and the and the aftertaste definitely lingers there but you get that that grassy gripping aftertaste which it really just this just screams rye from top to bottom from mm. nose to palate now tea I gotta ask you, which one do you think is which? Hmm. This one's a little harder than the other ones has, isn't it? It is actually. I'm glad we're doing this one blind because I'm I'm a little bit at a loss. I'm gonna say the Glen Karen is the bullet and the Capita is the written house. Hmm. And which one do you like better? Hmm. It's actually close. Like you said, very oaky, woodsy, but just a, a very straightforward rye. Like, I like this, but it's just such a soft palate and the lemon is so heavy. The lemon is what I like about it. I, yeah, and I'm, I'm trying to find a way to shit now, on that, but I like, like that. Would you like me to reveal before or after you make your pick? Uh, I'll make my pick. Okay. I think I'm gonna go with the Capita. I, the lemon is something that you're not used to getting with a rye. Okay. So I, I think that's what puts it in. Like, this is very basic, but it's just a true through rye. I like this, but there's not a ton going on here. This, and it, again, this has a really soft palate, and it's just that lemony flavor that comes through that really kind of edges this one. Now, can I be honest with you? You were actually wrong. And what was what? I had a That feeling. is the bullet. Okay. And that is... The Rittenhouse, okay. and I am also going to agree with you that Lemon puts it over the top. Yeah. Bullet Rye is my pick as well. So, Rittenhouse. There you have it. Um, thank you. It has been an amazing time. We're going to enjoy some cocktails out of this. We really enjoyed all the puns and bad jokes when we did the review of this video of this whiskey. It was a it was a marvelous time. You were not able to gun down bullet. No, no, the the bullet is the winner. Um, bullet gun down Rittenhouse. Well done, well done. You still got that one in there. Well done. Um, so we've got bullet rye moves on to the sweet 16 and yes that that actually is worth it yeah this one i think will work um again bullets such a dark horse in all of these competitions like nobody ever has their eye on bullet they all have their eyes on these higher end stuff but bullet never take your eye off of it because no. it it will in the end shock and amaze so yeah c plus blend all right. Nothing, nothing really. Eh, the lemon sticks out and just kind of cancels out the written house. Well, folks, that is now the result of this particular matchup in the 32 ride tournament. Bullet moves on, and my God almighty, we are now getting closer to finalizing the sweet 16 moving forward. But folks, as I'm going to say around here, all that being said, Thank you for joining us here at the KOE Nation. You can find me, KOE Nation, on YouTube, KOE Nation on Twitch, KOE Nation on TikTok, folks. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us. I hope all of you makes it back here happy, healthy, much the wiser. And, folks, I can't wait until we get to the final championship matchup of the 32 Rye Tournament. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us. Tony G, take it away. Uh Bullet wins it again. Uh, please don't sue us, Rittenhouse. I, sorry you didn't win. Well done. <laughs>